Hey guys, Tom here. If you're watching this video, you're probably a working man. Kidding aside, I'm going to give you the best workstation laptops for AutoCAD and 3D modeling. Architecture, engineering, whatever you may be, I'm here to help you. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If you want a top-of-the-line workstation laptop under $1,000, you're honestly not going to find anything new or recent to fit your needs unless you go secondhand, but that itself is a bit risky. But you know what? We'll stretch that budget a little bit. We'll start off with probably one of the cheapest options you can get. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad B16S Gen 2. At just over $1,500, not a cheap price, you have yourself a 13th generation i7 as the strongest option, coupled with an RTX A500, which is a professional graphics card under NVIDIA Quadro. Unfortunately, you don't have a lot of options when it comes to upgrading your memory. The LPDDR5X models have their memory soldered, while the DDR5ones have a free slot. You heard that right, a singular free slot. Keep that in mind when you're thinking of buying this, but I'll do you a favor. I've placed a link to a DDR5 version on Amazon. Check the link in the description. The screen is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio with options for standard WXGA, which just means 1920 by 1200, or WQXGA, did I say that right? WQUXGA, which is 3840 by 2400, which is also just 4K, but in 16 by 10. You have two Thunderbolt 4 ports that you can use with two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports additional along with an Ethernet connector for fast and stable surfing and whatnot and an HDMI port should you need it. Now, the battery life. You can expect it to last around 2 to 4 hours unless you put it on battery saving mode, you can probably extend it a bit more, but you can expect even lesser if you're making it chug on its own battery, but I don't understand why you'd want to do heavy loads on battery power anyway. On a related note, personally, I don't choose laptops with soldered RAM because it just complicates things a lot. If the RAM somehow starts fucking around, you'll be forced to replace the whole motherboard or have it shipped to a repair shop that does board repairs, which is already probably expensive itself, so just avoid that problem altogether. Now, honestly, I don't think there's much of a difference in speed when you're using soldered versus non-soldered RAM. It's just cheaper for companies to make it that way, which is honestly pretty shitty, but I'm not here to rant about that. Moving on, we have the... Ah, the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. I know. It's not a workstation laptop per se, it's more of a gaming laptop, but honestly, you can't go wrong with it. The line between professional GPUs and gaming GPUs is getting a little bit blurry by the day, and honestly, you can do just about the same things on a professional GPU with a gaming GPU. Of course, at the end of the day, there are going to be some things that professional GPUs can do better, excluding gaming, but it's more of like them being much more stable than gaming GPUs and whatnot. Anyway, at just over $1,400, you've got yourself quite the deal. A 13th generation i7 coupled with a very strong RTX 4000 series GPU, along with 32GB of RAM, which is upgradable by the way. For ports, you have four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, two USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, Ethernet, and an HDMI port. Now, like the previous Lenovo laptop we showed, it's also in 16x10 with a standard resolution of 2560x1600, which is 2K in pure, unadulterated gamer terms. Battery life depends greatly, with a big emphasis on greatly, on your usage. If you stick to more than just the 60Hz and do stuff with it, you probably shouldn't expect it to last long. Give it an hour, maybe two or three, but of course, you can extend that. Figure it out yourself, you're an adult. Up next, we have the Asus Creator Q. Now, that's quite the name, honestly. Fitting for a workstation laptop. It sounds very artsy and techy and whatnot. It also doesn't sound too generic or gamery. Now, this laptop has an OLED screen. You probably already know what that means, but if not, basically an OLED screen offers better color accuracy over LCD screens, which is most common on laptops. OLED screens also offer deeper blacks compared to LCD screens. I mean, if you've tried out an LED screen, you'll know what I mean. Continuing on, you have a 13th generation i7 coupled with an RTX 3050. Now, granted, it's not the newest, it's not the best, but it gets the job done. 
arguably better than if you were to go buy budget laptops or desktops. Now, the RAM isn't the best though. For the stock option, you only have 8GB of soldered RAM and DDR5 with an extra slot. However, you can use that extra slot for a bigger stick. You can install a 32GB RAM stick in it and it will give you 40GB of memory. As for I.O., you have two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, a single USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, one Thunderbolt 4 port, an HDMI port, and Ethernet. As for the screen, it's a standard 16x9 offering only full HD. Now for battery life, you can expect to have around 4, maybe 6 hours, though your mileage may vary. Up next, we have the Acer Predator Helios 16, another gaming laptop. 16-inch display, 16x10 aspect ratio offering 2K resolution and 165Hz refresh rate. This laptop uses a 13th Gen i7 with an RTX 4000 series card. You get 16GB for a stock option, but you can add another 16GB on top of that for a total of 32. Now unfortunately, you can't really go higher than that and there are no other slots which is pretty disappointing. Yeah, just two slots, with one already being occupied. Now, what about I.O.? For I.O., you have an HDMI port, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, three USB-A ports, and unfortunately, no Ethernet. As for the battery, it's claimed to have up to four hours, though again, your mileage may vary. Cooling seems to be great on this one, though there have been some bad reviews with it having bad cooling, so keep that in mind. For the most part though, you don't have to worry as long as you don't use it on your lap or on a bed. That's one really bad way to mess up your laptop. But again, really, you shouldn't really expect your laptop to run cool, especially if you're looking to do really heavy tasks with them. Now, if you want to check out the products themselves, you can check the description for links, but I'm not forcing you. Or maybe I am. You know what, maybe just, just, just check them out, maybe you like them, I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video.